We want to get to some breaking news. Three people are dead after a violent car crash in South LA. Two others are fighting for their lives. KTLA's Carlos Herrera joins us live from South LA's West Mountain neighborhood with the very latest. Carlos. And we've learned that these victims are all women, all passengers in an Uber ride this morning. You can see the investigation uh, is carrying on. We're waiting for the arrival of the coroner's office to remove the victim's body. You can see there the canopy set up uh, right in the middle of the street and near the sidewalk. We're also hearing from LAPD that we're waiting for uh, detectives to arrive here to carry out the investigation and continue speaking with witnesses. As we go into video, uh, authorities telling us this morning that it happened shortly before 5.30 a.m. The white Mercedes was traveling northbound on Vermont Avenue at a high rate of speed, apparently tried to beat a red light and struck the black Honda you see there head on right at the intersection of Vermont and Century. The black Honda spun out of control. One female passenger was ejected several feet she died at the scene. Two other female passengers of that Uber ride had to be extracted from that black vehicle. They also died. The male Uber driver and another female passenger were taken to the hospital where they are in critical condition this morning, but they were conscious when uh, conscious rather when they were transported earlier this morning. Now we spoke with a witness who rushed to help the victims. He's still shaken this morning, but he tells us the Mercedes was speeding. It was probably going more than 80, 85. I missed the light. Tell me about that. Yeah, he missed. He probably he always tried to probably beat the light. He probably didn't see the whole driver, and that's when the whole collision. I was trying to help the two girls that were in the back. They weren't. I started like shaking them. I started you know talking to them, waking them up. They weren't. They weren't responding. They weren't, they weren't breathing. Uh, definitely shaken this morning. Now, the driver, according to authorities of that Mercedes, was also taken to the hospital. The extent of his injuries, they are still unknown. We have confirmed, though, that he was in the car alone. Back at your live, you can see the investigation continuing. Uh, we've asked investigators, but it is still unknown if drugs or alcohol were a factor. In the meantime, as this continues, we expect this intersection to be closed for several more hours. We're live this morning in South L.A. I'm Carlos Herrera. I'll send it back to you.